On Blitz, we have the Region Player of the Year, Danny Grant. Uh, Danny, congratulations on a fantastic season. Thank you so much for stepping in front of the camera for a few minutes. Appreciate that. Uh, let's talk about your season. Uh, you hit 424, two home runs, 32 RBIs. You broke several school records, both uh, single season and career records already, and you're just a junior, so you still got a whole year to add on to that. If you could describe how special it is to be able to achieve those type of things individually, but also the success of this team. For sure, for sure. Well, first of all, you know, it feels awesome to do this. I, to be honest, when I first came out, uh, I wasn't really thinking about breaking records. Like, I looked at the team and, like, I felt, like, inferior to everyone. Like, I was small. Uh, I was kind of overweight, but, like, I didn't let, like, that get the best of me. I was just working my tail off. Just, I remember I used to just hit, like, a thousand balls every day. That's what I try and do. And just trying to get better. Even now, like, I was never content. With even after the, my freshman season, my sophomore season, I just trying to get better every day, and not just in the weight room or the cage, just my mental. I'm just trying to like be able to control the game, just get in the float state, and just have fun out there and ball. And yeah, I think what separates you guys from other teams is if you go back to the Athens Christian series to end the regular season, playing for a region title, and the way that the last two games unfolded, and y'all lost sort of in heartbreaking fashion. A lot of teams would have sort of just boxed up the season at that point, but you guys just almost seemed to let it motivate you. Is that fair to say that you, that was kind of a turning point for you guys? Oh uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, we played our tails off that that series. I remember uh, it was a lot of close moments in the game. I I had a few big hits. I know Ashton had a few big hits. Everyone had a lot of big moments, and I felt like that was perfect because that was also humbling. Like we came off a pretty big win streak after that, and like we were just. I felt like we kind of went in there a little bit too confident, especially after our 10 0 win. And a few errors got the best of us, but like that was perfect. We needed that right before the postseason to, you know, just humble us, get us back to earth, and, and we were ready to play. So, what's the secret to making a run like you guys did through the playoffs? I mean, I know it, it takes talent, it takes skill, but it also takes, a, you know, a little bit of luck with things going your way. But uh, what would you say is the secret to the success you guys had? I think the secret is man, good pitching and good defense. I know our three stars, Andrew, Cole, Chase, man, they pitched their tail off and our defense, uh, diving all over the place, just making plays consistently. And also our offense was also there, but it was really defense, just some hits that really like shouldn't have got through. Our, our defense just was awesome. Yeah. And uh, you guys, it's on your shirt for Jeremy. Uh, talk about how that sort of helped. This team seems like they're already close knit, but how did how did the chemistry, how much did the chemistry of this team play into the, the wins and all the records and everything that came with it and playing for Jeremy like that? Well, uh, it, was like, it was really good to be honest. Like, I know most of our teams are, most of our team is made up of borders. So we already live together like we're brothers and we've been around each other for three years uh, and some four after the season. But man, it's just a different environment. I've never been in an environment like this in my whole entire life. Uh, just working every day through blood, sweat, and tears, you know. Coach Paul would be running some hard practices in the fall, and we all just got to survive through it. And even with the day students, like, we just have a really close bond because we've been on the team for so long. And, like, everything, like, just feels like you're starting to click. And and, and that perfectly ties into the uh, for Jeremy thing. Jeremy was, like, a huge part of our team before uh, he transferred. And just his presence. And I remember, like, just being around him and just his energy, and I, he, we would get after it all the time. I remember me uh, and him and a few other players, we would sneak into the gym before they would have it open and just try to get some work in, and we just dogs out there and just having fun. Yeah. And, yeah, that was, that was huge. Yeah, well, you guys definitely honored him all season long and I think made him and his, you know, his family proud as well. Uh, and you're part of the, a solid core coming back. I mean, it's just exciting to see. You're going to lose some great players like Caden Walker and, and others, but – um, so many of you guys are coming back. How much time do you take before you kind of put this season behind you and start focusing on next year? And, and for you, what areas of your game are you wanting to improve on the most? Well, you know, you can't replace a Keen Walker or Chris Waldron or David Doody or Greg Mendes, but, you know, we're going to get some guys coming back. And I know everyone this summer, like this loss, that championship loss, like that's motivating a lot of people and we're just going to get after it this summer, just probably like a, a little cool down week, but after that, I know a bunch of guys starting to travel ball season, like Chase, 
uh, this week and a few others and we just we just wanna we just trying to win a chip and well for me over the summer and what I wanna improve on I just wanna just improve on my mental and my defense my arm just getting bigger stronger and faster just trying to show out and just trying to be the best version of myself. Absolutely. Well, congratulations and I uh, hope you have a great summer and come back and do this whole thing again next year. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank